In this session we shall see the processing of irrigation applications earth dam or dike design. The main purpose of earthen dams or dikes is to prevent flooding of the adjoining countryside and to slow natural course changes in a waterway to provide reliable shipping lanes for maritime commerce over time, they also confine the flow of the river, resulting in higher and faster water flow. Dams or dikes can be mainly found along the rivers and irrigation canals, where dunes are not strong enough, along rivers for protection against high floods, along lakes. Furthermore, dams or dikes have been built for the purpose of empoldering, or as a boundary for an inundation area. Dikes have also been built as field boundaries and as military defenses. More on this type of dikes can be found in the article on dry stone walls. Most commonly the dams or dikes have roads on the top, which are used by the inspection and service vehicles of irrigation department and also by the public in case of non-availability of alternative roads. So, horizontal alignment and vertical the earth dams or dikes are designed in respect of standards for the construction of roads, although the alignment must primarily follow the route of the river or canal. The design is done for the proposed dam cross section to be fitted with the horizontal alignment and vertical profile of the dike axis or dike center line. The side slopes of the dam or dike cross section may be checked of their stability based on the C values of the soil material, for which the Bishop's method is commonly used. The process produces construction drawings for plan, profile, and cross sections and by computing the earthwork which is estimated in terms of cut and fill. As the main screen opens use file menu to select set working folder. Next, select folder work located on the desktop. Next, select menu item file. Then New Workspace Design Next select Irrigation Applications and finally select New Slash Open Site Earth Dam Slash Dike Design. Create Project As the workspace opens, the current selected tab is Create Project, selected survey data type is Total Station. For processing users data user needs to click on button Create Project under New Project. The new project is created as design job number 01 inside the project folder created inside the working folder as work, irrigation applications, earth dam dike design project, design job number 01, next user needs to click on button browse to select the user's total station survey data file, after selecting a copy of the file will be brought into project folder design job number 01 to process. For processing tutorial example data user needs to click on button open tutorial example data, the new project is created as tutorial earth dam underscore dike design inside the project folder created inside the working folder as work, irrigation applications, earth dam dike design project, tutorial earth dam underscore dike design, here user need not click on button browse as a copy of the total station survey data file survey.txt and also the project data file.txt will be brought into project folder tutorial earth dam underscore dike design to process under new project the survey data file is shown with the path ground modeling the data in the total station survey data file must be made available in the following format and saved as a text file, for example survey.txt, which can be opened in Notepad. It has five columns of data, when a data record with serial number 0 is met, as after serial number 4, then it discontinues the last feature and reads a new feature, from serial number 5, in the ground model. The above data may be either in Surveyor's Transverse Markator, TM, coordinates or in Universal Transverse Markator, UTM, coordinates. If the data is in TM coordinates then these are to be converted into UTM coordinates by using GPS UTM coordinates on points with TM coordinates. Next, select the tab Survey Data, under this tab another tab Ground Modeling is opened. No check mark is put for option UTM, Universal Transverse Mark Ater, Data Conversion. Click on button Create Ground Model, the message comes, click on button OK. 
The names of all the survey features are listed in left bottom panel of the project workspace, as shown below. We click in the color box of a feature, P1, and we select the desired color for each feature, click on button apply and the color is set for the feature. User can remove the check mark from a feature, if we want to deselect the feature, to exclude it from the drawing of the ground model. Next, click on button draw at the bottom of the left panel of the workspace. By digital mapping the features are drawn with the selected color, on right side CAD window, we can save the drawing of the ground model either as DWG or DXF, but in unauthorized version any saving of drawing file is not possible. Triangulation Select tab Triangulation, select all the survey features by clicking on button Select All, Next, click on button Create Triangulation Model, the dialog box comes to start the process, click on button Proceed to process for triangulation. As the process is over the message comes, click on button OK. The files hds001.fil, hds000.fil and contour.fil are created in the project folder. Contours Select tab Contour the model name, string label, and increments for primary, secondary and text are set with default names and values. If the ground is of flat nature then user has to reduce the primary contour increment as 0.5 or 0.1 to get contours for the relatively flat ground. The secondary contour increment is always 5 times of increment of the primary contours. Texts for contour elevations are displayed on the secondary contours. Click on button Create Contour Model, the dialog box comes to start the process, click on button Run. As the contour window opens, primary C001, secondary C005 and elevation text ELEV strings under model contour are created, click on button Save, located at the top bar. As the contours are created and displayed, select yellow color icon for contour from bottom bar of the screen as shown and click on button quit to close the contour window. Next, we are back to the workspace once again, click on button draw contour model, to draw the contour model and the contours are displayed. Design of horizontal alignment of the control line. Next, select the tab Earth Dam Dike Design. The page for step 4 is opened for horizontal alignment. The option Process Halen Design Data is selected. The data is displayed in the data panel. User may paste any other data here. Click on button Proceed. As the process dialog box comes click on button Proceed. As the process is over message comes, click on buttons OK and finish. Next, click on buttons View Halen Design. Shenage on and details on. The alignment string M001 under model design will be displayed with shenichs and details of intersection points.
Design a vertical profile of the control line. Next, select the page for step 5 for design of vertical profile. Click on button create ground long section. As the process dialog box comes click on button proceed. Next, the program will pick the ground elevations from triangulation file hds 001filled by following the horizontal alignment of the control line and will be saved in the model files as string E001 under model design. As the process is over the message comes, click on button OK. Click on button draw ground long section. The string E001 for ground long section is drawn. The option Process via Line Design Data is selected, the data is displayed in the data panel, user may paste any other data here, click on button proceed, as the process dialog box comes click on button proceed. As the process is over message comes, click on buttons OK and finish. Next, click on buttons draw vertical profile. Grid on and vertical details on. The vertical profile of alignment string M001 under model design will be displayed with shenages, elevations, and details of vertical intersection points. Design of cross section. Select the page step 6 and under this page select the page define cross section. This are the cross section offset data for the tutorial project. Do not change any value here. User can define the data relevant to the project under design, the distances, and height slash fall with respect to the reference string is mentioned as per the various construction platforms to be developed by grading. Under the page 6 select the page interface. This are the data for side slopes for the tutorial project. Do not change any value here. User can define the data relevant to the project under design. Under the page 6 select the page create cross section. Click on button process cross section data, the batch process dialog box comes with three processes as shown, click on button proceed, all the three processes will be run one after another. As the process dialog box comes click on button proceed, as the process is over the message will come click on buttons ok and finish, repeat this for each of the three processes. The offset data. XSIC data and interface data will be processed and the cross sections will be developed for final graded for construction platforms. As all the three processes are over click on button finish, the dialog box comes with list of strings. Click on button draw strings. The strings are drawn over the contour model. Next, click on button create cross section drawings, the site cross sections are drawn with existing ground sections, 
proposed cross-sections for construction platform along with a road proposed to be constructed on the proposed graded land. Earthwork volume for cut and fill. Select tab page for step 7 to compute earthwork for cut and fill as the result of grading of the original uneven ground to construct leveled platforms with roads, drains, slopes etc. Click on button process data, the data is displayed in the data box in left side panel of the project workspace. The process dialog box comes, click on button proceed. As the process is over the message comes, click on buttons OK and finish. Drawings for plan, profile and cross sections. Select tab page for step 8 and the page for alignment schematic is opened, click on button process data. The process dialog box comes for Halen schematic, click on button proceed, as the process is over the message comes, click on buttons OK and finish. Next, the process dialog box comes automatically for via line schematic comes, click on button proceed, as the process is over the message comes, click on buttons OK and finish. In tab page step 8 the page for plan to create plan drawings for proposed leveled and graded ground platforms for various construction purposes. Click on button process data, as the process dialog box comes click on button proceed, as the process is over the message comes to inform about the output drawings, click on buttons OK and finish. Under tab page step 8 select profile to create vertical profile drawings for proposed leveled and graded ground platforms along the vertical profile of the proposed control line. Click on button process data, as the process dialog box comes click on button proceed, as the process is over the message comes to inform about the output drawings, click on buttons OK and finish. Under tab page step 8 select cross section to create cross section drawings for proposed leveled and graded ground platforms along the proposed control line. Click on button process data, as the process dialog box comes click on button proceed, as the process is over the message comes to inform about the output drawings. Click on buttons OK and finish. Design reports and drawings. Select tab page step 9 and click on button create slash update project data file. The project data file will be opened and displayed as shown below. The message comes. Click on buttons OK.
Next click on button view drawings. The Heads CAD viewer opens with all plan, profile and cross section drawings. Select a drawing from the list on the left side, the selected drawing will be displayed. User may save any drawing as DXF or DWG file and may print the drawings for construction purposes. This is the end of the session for processing of ground survey data by creating construction platforms along with earthwork volumes and construction drawings for plan, profile and cross sections.